thousand twists and turns. There are promises to keep. There are endless things to learn. Through the laughter and the tears, sometimes lost, sometimes alone. Letting go is how we stay, and it always leads you home. Is this even through the book? Yeah, it was yeah. 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 Just hold it for mommy and say, take your kid. That's mommy now. Oh, it's on Wi-Fi. It's on Wi-Fi. You might see for Rocky. What? She's on that phone. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Mommy, we'll see you later. Mommy.
You've chosen hymns of readings, and I love your first hymn. It's the first hymn from my organization. Um, but it's just slightly odd, isn't it? Dear Lord and Father, what my kind, forgive our foolish way. I hope there's nothing foolish about that. Okay, so it's number two hundred and thirty-four. This reading is a reading from the Song of Songs, Love is Strong as Death. I hear my beloved, see how he comes leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window, he peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice, he says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff, show me your face, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine and I am his. Set me like a seal on your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy relentless as Sheol. The flash of it is a flash of fire, a flame of the Lord himself. Love no flood can quench, no torrents drown. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the hymn is to sing, our response to the reading is to sing the hymn, Lord of all hopefulness, number four. First letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. 
If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offence and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. Laura, Stephen have chosen those readings and the hymns to express what they want expressing today. And my job is just to amplify what they give me to express. And I'm not too sure how to amplify that first reading. 34 years I've been a priest in the, this summer, and today is the first time anybody has chosen that reading as a reading for a wedding. It's one of the list of, re uh, of suggested readings for weddings, but people never choose it. And yet today, I had a wedding this morning as well, and both weddings have chosen it. So whether there's something in the air today or not, <laughs> I don't know. Stephen and Laura, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church of minister and his community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism, and now he enriches and strengthens you by a special sacrament, so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Stephen and Laura, I shall now ask you if you freely undertake the obligations of marriage and to state that there is no legal impediment to your marriage. Are you ready, freely and without reservation, to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Are you ready to love and honour each other as a man and wife for the rest of your lives? Are you ready to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ in His church? I do solemnly declare. I can solemnly declare that I know not, that I am not of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment. Why I, Stephen Ludington, why I, Stephen Ludington, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Laura Therese Sims, to Laura Therese Sims. I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare, that I know not, that I know not, of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why I, Laura Therese Sims, why I, Laura Therese Sims, may not be joined in matrimony, May not be joined in that To Stephen Lovington. To Stephen Lovington. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, declare your consent before God and His Church. Stephen Lovington, will you take Laura to her sins here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother of the Church? Laura to her sins, will you take Stephen Lovington here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother of the Church? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Stephen Ludington, to witness that I, Stephen Ludington, do take the Laura Therese Sims, do take the Laura Therese Sims, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife, <laughs> to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish till death do us part. Till death do us part. Do we share our studies and join them? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Laura Terrell Sims. To witness that I, Laura Terrell Sims. Do take thee, Stephen Ludington. To take thee, Stephen Ludington. To be my lawful wedding husband. To be my lawful wedding husband. 
to have and to hold, to have and to hold. from this day forward, to, um, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent until you both with his blessings. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. And according to my book, there's a deafening cry of amen coming from here. <laughs> which shows that you all approve of and agree with and encourage what they've just done. So if there's some other way that you want to show your approval, you can do it now. <laughs> For the parents of Laura and Stephen, for their friends and all who have helped them to become husband and wife, Lord hear us. That the Lord may bless the world with his peace and the protection of his love, Lord hear us. For married couples everywhere, that their lives will be an example to the world of unity, fidelity and love. Lord, hear us. For the faithful departed, and especially for those whom we, ourselves, have loved, that God will one day unite us again in the joys of our eternal home. Lord, hear us. A Christian shield, a Christian fort, in a hill and a good doctor shame. A Christian wave, a Christian tisk, alien today. Give her the grace of love and peace, 
May she always follow the example of the holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband put his trust in her and recognize that she is his equal and the heir with him to the life of grace. May he always honor her and love her as Christ loves his bride, the church. Father, keep them always true to your commandments, keep them faithful in marriage, and let them be living examples of Christian life. Give them the strength which comes from the gospel, so that they may be witnesses of Christ to others. Bless them with children, and help them to be good parents. May they live to see their children's children, and after a happy old age, grant them fullness of life with the saints in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Yeah. Actually, there was a bit where I nearly cried when he was explaining <laughs> the, uh, the, what the, 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 the symbolism of that, the, yeah, the, the yeah. rain was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
sad writing letters Made it not so bad Still I'm spending every day Wishing we could always stay together It's so much better with you and me The weather is always better with you and me happy that everybody is able to make a few. <laughs> We'd like to welcome Steve's family, Peter and Janice, Andrew and Kat, who've crossed the border from Yorkshire to Lancashire. <laughs> 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 then we have all the Bradleys, the Simpsons who've trapped from Derry. <laughs> <laughs> Along with an assortment of the McAdams clan. Two of them. <laughs> Two of them in kilts. <laughs> And Paul and Nora, who are flew in this morning from Derry. <laughs> Moving further afield, we have the Leahys from Cork, Melanie travelling from Paris, Eilish and Pete from Michigan, and Keith, New York's finest short order cook. <laughs> but good stuff. We'd like especially to thank. Uh, Eilish for the designer wedding dress. No, so oh, I know. Oh, It's a work of art. There's a lot of art. Uh, the 
the mother of blight, of the bride. <laughs> mother of the blight. It's glad that Fiona's dress looks so lovely. Because she's a she made it. Oh. Right, um, I'd like to thank Terence and Debbie and Lamia and James uh, who did the reading and the bidding prayers. You may have seen the wedding cake. Yeah. As a bright fallen Had by Rose and Rosalind, is that right? <laughs> who made the lovely wedding cake and Fiona, the lovely bride right tonight. That has definitely And they are very happy to accept commissions. <laughs> uh, we'd like to thank Martin, who's taken the video as I speak. <laughs> and the other Martin, where's the other Martin? No, it's another Martin who made it to the wedding, despite a broken ankle or something. That's all right. We'd like to thank Eamon, the best man in the compare. We'd like to thank Chris, Andy, Sylvan, James, Emma and Helen uh, for decorating the room and the tables. Lovely. And for Debbie. She wore her fingers out so in all 30 metres of bumping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'd like to thank Lamia for looking after Judy the cat. We'd like to thank Ruth, where is she? She's there for um, checking Steve and Laura into the hotel. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the Chorlton Irish Association Club in this place, and to take their um, Paddy, Noreen, and all the staff for providing lovely food and the venue. Yeah. are very pleased to have Steve <laughs> as our son-in-law, apart oh. from the awful jokes that he tells. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, yeah, and he's made our Laura very happy and we know we look after him. Oh. Oh. Okay, right, right, right. right. <laughs> okay, we are very proud of Laura and she looks we are. stunning today. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'd like to thank them uh, very both as they worked so hard to organise the wedding and the reception. And the <laughs> yeah, we would particularly like to thank them for organising the wedding. And I think, Laura, you could be a wedding planner. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, like every, really everybody, uh, problem free for us. Remember to send your photos to yeah. Laura's email address. Yeah. Laura Trail sends out gmail.com. Okay. Okay. We'd like to congratulate the happy couple and wish them success and happiness in the future. We'd like to propose a toast to the bride. To the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely lovely to see you on here today. Um, before we start off, there's two gags in this speech. So. <laughs> but uh, very exciting last night. Uh, me and Steve stayed in uh, Blackburn for the night before in the Travel Lodge Hotel. And we had a lovely night. We went to see Laura's parents. Um, burnt stuff in the back garden. <laughs> <Drank the chair. laughs> And then me and Steve staggered back to the hotel and, and we actually saw a superstar, we saw Lenny Henry. So we said to Lenny, he said, hey Lenny, where's Dawn? And he said, he's trying to be funny. I said, well one of us asked him. <laughs> I'm here all week. 
So the formalities are over now, the service is all done, and beautiful service it was, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all could say, Barbara did a great job. <laughs> Just going to run through what we've got left for the rest of the night. Simple really, I think we found the bar. <laughs> if you want to snout outside, it's an Irish club, if you want to fight with the... We've got everything covered. <laughs> um, after the speeches yeah, now, we're going to cut the cake, the fabulous cake, the, uh, the Judy cake, as I'd like to call it. Um, and then after that, we're going to fire up with some karaoke fun. So, we'll be passing the book round and a few slips, so if you want to do a song, I'm sure you all do. Let me know what you're going to do, because I'm going to be your host in the comment there. Um, and we're going to do as much karaoke as we want, really, basically. Um, I've got a karaoke catchphrase that I won't tell you about now, but uh, that's something we look forward to looking forward to. Now, it's quite appropriate, actually, that we've got karaoke on tonight, because in the legend-struck story that is Steve and Laura, the time they actually got together and the time this spark hit was when they actually did a duet of karaoke together. They sung the very wonderful and very romantic Guilty Johnson. <laughs> uh, I've checked on the karaoke and it's on there. <laughs> so there's no way these guys are leaving tonight without this. I would have said no way. <laughs> well, we'll make sure it happens. There's a good possibility. Yeah. Well. And, and see, and Big shows a fiver, I told you. <laughs> now, I've known Steve and Laura for three to four years now. And I remember the first time I met him, and um, we met through work just down the road at uh, Lovely Pipex in here in Chorlton. And Steve was very fortunate because I was his trainer. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a classroom full of people the first morning, and Monday morning, and uh, being a really cool trainer type, I sort of went around the room and said, introduce yourself, tell us a bit about yourself. Not because I'm interested in people, it's just I like to get a pot of coffee down there. <laughs> Check your Facebook while they're all going through it. <laughs> but we went round the room and it was the usual, all right, football, all right, swimming, all right, the <laughs> And we got to Steve and I didn't have high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> he was dressed like a geography teacher. <laughs> Not a cool geography teacher. <laughs> not Jarvis. <laughs> He's not Jarvis. No, 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 no. Not Jarvis. So, alright mate, how are you doing? Tell us a bit about yourself. And, then, and he went into a rant. <laughs> about his previous job in Ticketmaster. <laughs> I don't know what they did to him, but... Uh, if you get him on the subject today, he will rant. <laughs> He's never going to scarf for life, by the way. But he actually got interested because he said, well, I'll do a bit of DJing and me and the girlfriend and the family. Now, in Manchester, that's not unusual. I mean, everyone in Manchester is a filmmaker and a family. <laughs> but, like I said, he was dressed like a geography teacher, so I thought, well, he's not a death metal man. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to be a Bob Dylan singer-songwriter. And he's not Jarvis. <laughs> so I was curious, so I asked the, the multi-million pound question, yeah. Oh yeah, what the kind of music is it? You get two answers from that. One that makes you think, I'll never talk to you again because I hate you. Or the other that you're an interesting person. So he didn't use words like unique or sing a songwriter or fresh and organic. And he actually said, he said, well, I make some backing tapes with nasty noises and me and the girlfriend shout over them. <laughs> and then he added really proudly, we usually clear the room. <laughs> and from that moment on, I just thought, I like this guy. <laughs> And funny enough, three, three, four years later, I'm actually in that band with him. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we're, still, we're still clearing rooms. <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> now, just before we do the toast, just uh, get serious, just for one moment. And just on a personal note, I want to say to Laura and Steve, thanks so much for asking me to get your best man. I'm absolutely honoured for that. And thanks for all the great music we've made together as well. And above all, Thank you for your friendship and cherish. You're a great bunch, you're a great pair of people. And, and I was going to say, but well, the priest actually summed it up. He said, like, in a good couple, you actually make each other better. And that was what I was going to say, and he said more relevant. <laughs> so, so I just did crap, eh? 
But if you roll all that to join, just to tell us the Right. 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 Here we go, two, three, four. I was so upset that I cried all the way to the chip shop. When I came out, there was Gordon standing at the bar stop. Guess who was with him? Yes, Julie. And they were both laughing at me.
He was big and strong and his eyes were flaming gold. What's better up with me? In Moscow, chicks, he was such a lovely dear. He could preach the Bible like a preacher, full of ecstasy and fire. And then he rose the ground of teacher with women, what a desire. Rama, Rasputin, Mother, Mother, Russian Queen. Close by my side We had a quarrel 
Right, we're going to have the first dance now. Yeah. I'm going to switch it on.
Oh 